Now, do you wish you would have done anything differently? Um, I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll do anything differently. Because um, I've, I've, I've never not been around people, um, not been speaking to people, trying to, to help people. Um, even if it's just giving you a specific idea for your business or um, trying to help you ca carry some um, groceries to your car or just trying to help a specific organization or, or just some, something, you know, I'm always helping people. Um, that's, that's always been a part of me, just always being talkative, always uh, finding myself in a situation where um, my, my help is needed or maybe my voice is needed or my opinion is needed. Um, and because of that, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll ever change um, when, it, when it comes to, to that because uh, I, I love people. I, I love people, I love being around people. Um, I love motivating people as well, um, but more than that, I, yeah, I think I'm just, I'm just myself. Now, a lot of people are calling you a hero. What, what do you make of that? Sure, a hero, no, a hero. That is, um, yeah, that is a pretty big um, word. Um, I don't think... I, I, I won't call myself a hero. I'll, I, I'd say that I'm, I'm just one of those people who um, just decided to react at, um, at a time where, you know, people won't feel, uh, wouldn't have reacted to something like that. Um, I, know, I know what it's like to, 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 to be robbed. I know what it's like to, to be hurt by other people. And, um, you know, just, just for standing up once, I think I've, I've, I've justified not be standing up for the other times I couldn't or I didn't want to stand up for people as well. Um, so I don't think I'm a, I'm a hero. I just think I'm a normal, a normal guy that just, um, just wants to do the right things most of the time. Now, I was speaking to your cousin earlier and a lot of funds have been raised for you. People pouring in, giving donations, giving, giving support. I think yeah. before this interview, about 230,000 Rand has been raised to help you get through this ordeal. How does it make you feel to know that South Africans and, and international people have all come together to help you get through this? Well, uh, I don't think there's ever going to be a word in the, dic in the dictionary to <laughs> describe um, what it makes me feel to know that there's so many people that I m I might know or might n I never meet. Um, that's just so many unconditional love and appreciation. We um, s at some some point, you know, I, I I would say I never ever thought that people would do something like that for me, you know, because um, I always found myself being the person that does things and, and I never expected anyone to even know about what I did, you know. Um, I, 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 can't, I can't put it into words, I don't, don't know what to say. Uh, thank you, thank you will never be enough. Well, thank you will never ever be enough. Um, but what I do know is that um, with whatever money funds being raised, um, I'll, I'll keep on persevering. Um, messages of support is incredible. Um, and because of that, I'll, I, I think I'll just always keep on um, trying to change my, my area, trying to change my, my city, uh, trying to change people's circumstances also. Um, because what they're doing for me, I'll be able to do in turn for thousands of people, hundreds of people if I have a chance. All right, so what's, what's next for you in this recovery, recovery process? Do you know? Um, well, what I do know is that next I um, am awaiting to be transferred to Grote Skier um, to start my physiotherapy and rehabilitation that side. Um, and then from there onwards, 
uh, we'll see what's next. But definitely, um, I'm feeling I'm feeling optimistic, and I'm feeling that my recovery is it's going pretty quickly. And and because of that, um, next is, is is being in a wheelchair, and hopefully um, walking soon after that, definitely. But I'm trying to take everything um, day by day, just trying to take things as as they come.